grace. We always think of it as a touch with the divine, but my grandma taught me finding the divine is in the everyday. It's in the everyday and it just takes noticing. The key is listening. And I, I tried to be a better listener, and I learned this from this little girl in one of my classes. I was teaching this class, and I said, what separates us gives us power. I said, what makes us, how we belong, how we belong together gives us resilience. But what separates us gives us our, our power in life. And I told him, I can even prove it. I said, what makes you different? And every kid thought of what made him different. I said, now why does that give you power in your life? And they all made up a superhero character, and we made superheroes. So we're going around the room, going to our superhero characters. We got to this little girl, and I, I, she hasn't spoken in two weeks. And I said, why, what, what makes you different? She goes, I'm really shy. And I said, I know. I said, but why does that give you power? She goes, because sometimes people forget I'm in the room, and I'm invisible, and I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> she did, and she, I could go to her and ask her about any kid in that class, any teacher, and she knew everything. And sometimes I'd be talking to a teacher, ah, there she is again. <laughs> Where the heck did you come from? And, uh, so this deep listening, deep, deep listening, and what I learned from the deep listening is, when you listen especially deep, it becomes empathy. And empathy is one of the greatest gifts you can get because it's getting the wisdom from someone without having to go through their experience. And so I've learned to, to listen as deep as I can, which brings me to love stories. I wanted to tell a love story. 